Aloha and welcome to another episode of the Hawaii Vacation Connection. My name is Bruce Fisher. My name is Yaling Yu Fisher. Thanks very much for tuning in. We've got a great podcast for you today for this March 10th, 2010. It's a Wednesday and it's our 371st podcast. So glad you're here. Got a lot to talk about. We're going to be talking about another reason why you should be booking your Hawaii cruise. We'll also be introducing you to Taimani Gardner, who's going to be playing at the Honolulu Festival this weekend. Mm -hmm. We'll also be going over packages that have been booked in the last 24 hours and also talk about the series HBO series that's coming up, The Pacific, and also show you a dessert. I can't wait to show people this dessert that we had over the weekend. Of course, this podcast is brought to you by us. We're the owners of Hawaii-Aloha.com and Hawaii Hawaii's Experts. You can catch us on the web at www.hawaii-aloha.com. Or you can reach us at 1-800-843-8771 or email us at podcast at hawaii-aloha.com. Also, you can find us on Facebook and uh, Twitter. That's right. And I'm Aloha Bruce on mm-hmm. Twitter and Yaling is Aloha Yaling. And you can find us on Facebook just by going to Aloha, Hawaii Aloha Travel. Very simple. That's right. Very simple and easy. Love to see you there because that's how we keep in touch. You'll be happy you did. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Well, let's get right into it. Here's another reason to book your Hawaii cruise. Norwegian Cruise Line announced yesterday that as a result of unprecedented year-to-date increases in bookings, they will be raising the price of the Pride of America 7% on April 2nd. Now, (laughs) sad face. (laughs) That comes as no surprise because we've been seeing the increase in bookings and we've been discussing the possibility that the prices would be going up because of the supply and demand. I mean, that's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. Capitalism. And uh, it also comes on the heels of the news that NCL showed a profit of $121 million for the Hawaii cruises last year. And that was, yeah, during the toughest of economic times. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it works. Yeah. High demand, raise the prices. Now, what does that mean? That'll mean approximately, what, $75 to $100 more per person. Wow. Yeah. If this happened to cruise, and then can happen to hotel and airfare. That's too. right. As the demand goes up, you know, you're gonna. How long will these great prices ever? Quite good point. Uh, hold out. And if your vacation, if you come to Hawaii and you're coming to Oahu, chances are that you'll be visiting what's called the Pali Lookout. It's part of the uh, Nuuanu Pali State Park, and it's located at the top of the Pali Highway. Now the Pali Highway connects east and west here on Oahu. East, west? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You and can you, say that, that. Yeah, it does. And you'll find spectacular views of the Ku'ulau mountain range and also the west side of the island. Mm-hmm. And it has amazing vantage points. And the Pali Lookout is one of the most visited mm-hmm. state parks. Wow. With over 900,000 visitors. In fact, there's a shot of it right there. And that's President Obama, actually, at the uh, state park. And up until recently, this was completely free for both residents and visitors. However, recently that has changed. Mm. There's now a $3 fee, a parking fee. How about only three minutes? (laughs) Even if you go in for three minutes, you're going to pay the fee. $3? Yeah. Now I will stay longer. Yeah. And that's for a non-Hawaii residents. Hawaii residents is still free, but if you're a non-Hawaii resident, uh, mm-hmm. it is going to cost you three bucks. And they have little parking police there. Mm-hmm. And this is all because the Department of Land and Natural Resources are not getting the funds they need to yep. take care of the parks. Mm-hmm. So they need repairs. So this is another way to do it. And this is just another reason of you know another sign of the times: budget deficits. Yep. So uh, I don't think that should discourage you, though, you know, at all. Mm-mm. And I think this is, we've seen this, you know, like, you, I don't I, I remember it wasn't too long ago that Diamond Head Lookout was free. Mm-hmm. You know, you could go there. That's the parking charge. Yeah. And then Hanuma Bay was free. No, it's $7. Oh, it's $7? I thought it was Before $5. It's five. yeah. Um, you were, so they raised the price of that, too. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So that's now 7 bucks. Mm-hmm. Now, there, if you go in for just a few minutes, they'll give you your money back, right? Something like know. that. Maybe you for Diamond Head. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think you can. I think you can go into uh, Hanuma Bay and mm-hmm. come in and out real quick. 
They give you yeah. a grace period or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Okay. Anyway, coming up this weekend is a great festival. It's called the Honolulu Festival, and you can see some great entertainment. It's just a, one of our favorite festivals to go to. And you'll see local musicians. You can check out our website, and there's a complete schedule of events on there on our blog. And Taimani Gardner, she's an amazing ukulele player. She's going to be playing there as well. And I thought we'd give folks a little bit of taste of uh, Taimani Gardner. So here she is playing right now. Now, last Friday we had the opportunity to see a screening of The Pacific. Ooh. Now, this is a mini series from HBO, and mm -hmm. it tells the story of three incredible men who fought in World War II. And it premieres this Friday, March 14th. It's an original series. Yes. And it was going to be shot here on, on Oahu in, in Hawaii, but we didn't get the bid. So it ended up going to Australia. But Hawaii was so much a part of World War II, especially for veterans. Yeah. And we were lucky enough to catch the Pacific commander during uh, the screening. And he was sending a message to the troops on a me, a me TV. And that's a device that lets people send video messages abroad. And here's a little tribute we put together for, uh, for the troops. And so you can see the commander. I'm uh, Admiral Bob Willard, the U.S. Pacific Command Commander, and 